Good day everyone, I am John Patrick Estalani and I'm here to discuss about just Jacobi method in C++. So first of all, I would like to um, let's see who is this Gus Jacobi. So Gus was, was a German mathematician. His full name is Johann Karl Friedrich Gus who lived in the 1777 until his death in 1855. So as I've said, he's a German mathematician and physicist who made significant contributions to many fields in mathematics and science. So this is his photo. And he has a friend, Tropanya, which is Sir Carl Gustav Jacob Jacobi, who lived in the uh, 18th 1804 until the 1851. So he is also a German mathematician who made fundamental contributions to elliptic functions, dynamics, differential equations, determinants, and the number theory. So based from Google, Jacobi was the first Jewish mathematician to be appointed professor at a German university. So he, this is his picture. He has a resemblance with <laughs> El Sheeran. Uh, going back, um, so the Gauss-Jacobi method is an iterative method considered as an iterative algorithm which is used for determining the solutions for the systems of linear equations in numerical linear algebra, which is diagon diagonally dominant. So this word diag diagonally dominant will be used further and will be clearly explained in the example. In this method, an approximate value is filled in for each diagonal element. So here are the steps in doing the Gauss-Jacobi method. First is rearrange the order of equations in a manner that the dominant coefficient for each unknown variable lies in the main diagonal of the system of linear equations. So what I've said, this will be clearly discussed during the example. Obtain the iterative formula for each variable by transport, transposing the dominant variable and dividing the equation by the dominant coefficient. So this is also, this will also be further explained through the samples. Then begin the iteration by substituting initial values of zeros to the variables and obtain the new values. So when finding the uh, x sub 1, we will assume the values of x2 and x3 to be 0. When finding x2, we will assume x1 and x3 to be 0. And finding x3, we will assume x1 and x2 to be 0. The process is repeated by substituting the variables on the next iteration until the determin determinating condition is satisfied. So, so, there will be new values of x1, x2, x3 that will be used for the next iteration until the terminating condition is satisfied. So next, so this is a sample of uh, what we have in our lecture. So we are going to use it as an example in using the algorithm of C++. So I'm going to open the C++ and this is the C++ I created uh, for the Gauss-Jacobi method. And for start, I will run the program and uh, further discuss each element inside. So this is the window that I've run using the C++ arg algorithm. And this is the example from the lectures. So first, let's let us arrange the equation based from its dominant diagonal. So after arranging, this is the result, resulting equations, negative 11 equals to 7x1 minus 3x squared minus 4x sub 3. So after arranging, we now satisfy the, the coefficients asked in this program. So enter the number of coefficients. Let's input 3 since this is a 3 equation. Enter the number of desired iterations. Since the example in the lectures is 12, so we're going to use 12. Enter the right-hand side constant of this equation. Since the constants are placed on the left, we are going to use that. So negative 11, 3, 
and 25. Next, enter the coefficient row by row, arranged according to the dominant diagonal first coefficients. So this, so this one was already arranged based on its dominant diagonal. So we're going to input that as is 7, negative 3, negative 4, then negative 3, 6, negative 2. Then negative 4, negative 2, and 11. And press enter. Now we are asked to input the absolute error. So I'm going to put 0 0.0001. So according to the, the program, the absolute errors are not satisfied. So we are going to try again. The values are 0 0.83, 5907. 1.85041 for x2 and x3 is 2.89 and 2.91 here. So the absolute error is 3.7%, 3.1 and 2.27. So may, later we will try a, an iteration above 12 so that we can satisfy the set absolute error. So these are the end credits. Thank you for using the Jacobi method calculator created by John Patrick. Used in the term school year 2022, term 2 of math 221. And later we will try the higher iteration so we can satisfy the desired absolute error. This is the algorithm in C++, so let us start. This one will indicate the integers, and this one will indicate the variables that will be used in this program. So this one's the header, Gauss-Jacobi method in C++, and by John Patrick Estalani. This one, you will you are tasked to enter the number of unknown coefficients. So from the example, it was three equations. So we have three unknown coefficients. Enter the number of desired iterations. So this one, you will des designate how many iterations will be pressed. Next, enter the right-hand sign constants of each equations. Yeah. So you're going to input the constants values on the given equations. This one is you're going to input the equation, the coefficient of each of each a variables. Yeah, noted with note. Enter the equation in a sequential manner with the diagonal dominant of each coefficient. So this was indicated on the step one of the Gauss Jacobi method. So this one is where the initial values are set to zero based from the third step. Um, this one is you're going to set the error that needs to be satisfied. In that case, from the sample, we use 0 0.0001. And according to the program, 12 iterations was not enough. So later we will try a higher iteration. So this one computes for the iteration and this is the process of computation. And this one is the computation for the first iteration. Once all the iterations are computed, uh, we are going, the program will store the, the new values to a new array to proceed to the next iteration until the iteration number has, was satisfied. This one is used in computing the errors of each values. And this one will display the, the roots that was processed from the number of iterations that was set initially. If not satisfied, try increasing the number of iterations until the desired accuracy of error is satisfied. So we are going to try this one. So this is the table header in which similar to the lectures and videos and 
the corresponding the corresponding values of each iterations so flashing the values of each iteration similar to the lectures and videos so these are the end credits thank you for using cost document method calculator created by john patrick Estelani for the purpose of math 221 school year 2022 term 2 Again, we are going to to run the program using maybe 20 iterations to satisfy the, the set accuracy. Type 3, number of iterations, let's try 20. Enter the right side constant. So we're going to refer again to this example. Negative 11, 3, and 25. Enter the coefficients row by row. 7, negative 3, negative 4, negative 3, 6, negative 2, negative 4, negative 2, 11. And set again 0 0.0001. And there you go. I've also created an MS Excel formula for the Gauss Jacobi and let's compare the results. So this is the one. There. So we are going to input the values. So as you can see, after this one's had 18 iterations, and somehow we have a closer number. 0.97 1.97 and 2.9 let's try another uh, let's try the next one this one exit this one then run it again so we are going to try the example in the powerpoint again let's Input 3, since there are 3 equations, and their desired iteration, so based from the, these are the answers after 10 iterations, so let's put 10, to be safe, let's put 12, and then the constants 22, 15, uh, this equation is already arranged in its diagonal dominant, so we don't have to equate it anymore enter then we put the coefficients 7 2 3 3 2 5 3 3 1 4 and 3 6 enter same absolute error and there you go the roots are 3.59375 3.65625 3.48958 and 3.48958 somehow we have an absolute error of very low since this sa this satisfied the absolute error this is a good result of absolute error so we're going to check it using the ms excel i've created so let's put the values seven two three and three five three 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 one three one three six so based from the MS Excel, there, 3.5938, 3.6563, and 3.4896. So we have the same results from the MS Excel and the C++ 
So we verify the consistency and the accuracy of this program. And again, um, thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.